Hey Leo, welcome to your March, mid-March actually, 2022 general love reading. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Leo. And it is a general reading, so <clears throat> it's not going to be everybody's situation, but you can check out one of your other signs if you'd like, or you can book a personal reading with me. And you can find all that information in the description box. All right, Leo, let's see what is going on with you mid-March to the end of March 2022 for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. The cards are going crazy. I don't even know what is going on here. All right, we have the Three of Wands crossed by the Ten of Swords <clears throat> for the situation. Okay. Um, <clears throat> It's like you're expecting an ending. It feels like there's this impending ending that is that you expect is coming or maybe the other person expects is coming. And I'm not sure if it's here or if it's ever going to be here, but it's like this expectation that there's going to be this really painful ending here. Let's see, for your energy, we have the Three of Pentacles, the Sun, and the Knight of Swords. Let's see for them. The Lovers, the Queen of Swords, and the Two of Swords. All right, okay. Um, the roles can be reversed, okay, so do keep that in mind. So we do have Leo showing up actually in your energy, and we have Gemini showing up in the other person's energy, all right? They do have a lot of air here. So some of you could be dealing with an air sign, particularly a Gemini. It doesn't have to be, though. Um, you're putting in a lot of effort, I feel, or you're trying to work with this person in some way, or this is what you would want, in order for the two of you to be happy or for there to at least be some peace between the two of you. And I feel like you're actually going about this in a very like um, direct way, or at least you would want to. Um, for them, Okay, this person seems to be a little bit undecided here. It could be that there's, um, for some of them, there might be somebody else involved because it does feel like there might be a choice that they're trying to make or a decision that they're trying to make. But I also get, it's like they're very clear about what it is that they want, but they're just not acting on it. Let's see the potential outcome or message. We have the Seven of Swords. All right, I'm not gonna say anything about that until we clarify, because <laughs> I really wanna see what's going to come through. Let's, yeah, let's clarify. All right. So let's see the Three of Wands with the Ten of Swords. Whew. The Ten of Swords again the King of Wands and the Queen of Cups. Leo, what is happening here? I actually feel like this is you, but it definitely could be them. Um, it could even be the both of you. It's like, again, it's like either prolonging an ending or just really waiting for this ending to happen so that it can just be done with already or you're just expecting that it will. And I feel like whoever is on that end, like whoever is feeling that, um, and again, it could be the both of you. Um, it's like they're trying, you or they are trying to really be strong about it or to just really overpower that. Because there's a lot of emotions here. There's a lot of love here. I would even go as far as to say that you, you feel that this might be your intuition. telling you this and so it's like you're trying to almost like you're trying to deal with this ending before the ending has even come or deal with an ending that you believe to be an ending or that the possibility of the ending and so it's like you're trying to either heal that or um, cope with it just in case just in case it happens or because you expect that it will happen so it's like you're doing that um, beforehand, you know, like before the matter, 
trying to catch it in time so that you don't feel so much pain if and when it does actually happen or whenever it is validated or confirmed that yes, it is an ending. Something like that. Let's see the Three of Pentacles in your energy. The Page of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, it it's like you really want to be able to collaborate in some way with this person um, to see if there's, you know, like a different way to cope with the situation. Kind of like to, to reorganize things, reorganize the connection or reorganize elements of the connection. Again, it feels like it's in preparation of something. Let's see the sun. All right, we have the star and the Knight of Cups. I'm trying to figure out if this is actually like working <laughs> for you um, because it's interesting. Because you know what they say, I mean, this can be a very frustrating energy to be in, whoever is in it. And it could even be just the other person if, it, if you don't feel like you resonate with this, um, you know, expecting an ending and trying to deal with it, you know, beforehand in preparation of. Um, it's it's kind of like waiting for, for torture, right? Um, so for torture victims, it's like the weight, which is the most torturous, like... The weight is more intolerable than the actual torture. And I feel like whoever is in this position, it's like, you know, that that's what they would be doing to themselves. But it's interesting, though, because I see you here, you know, just really wishing um, to be healed. So I do feel like it might even be you wishing for this to be healed. And I kind of see you, you know, being a little bit, um, it, it feels light. It doesn't feel very heavy, right? With the sun here, it, it's like it's empowering you. But I feel like what you really would want is this Knight of Cups. Like wishing that this person could just come in and offer you love. But since if that's not happening, because from the looks here, I mean, this person is not really making m many moves here, right? So it's like the next best thing is to just try to go about this in a different way and prepare for the worst. But what's interesting to me is that it does feel like through that, there is some healing that is happening. Which is interesting because I just wouldn't think that that would be the case, but apparently... Um, that's what we're getting here. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see the Knight of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Hermit. Okay, so it does feel like, you know, part of this might be on the surface, right? There, but there is a deeper healing that is happening. We also have Virgo showing up here. There is a deeper healing that is happening through this process, even by you trying to um, be strong and, you know, to like cope with this ending before it has even been 100% confirmed to you. Yes, there is healing here. Um, there is something that is happening. There's a deeper, deeper lesson, even though, you know, it might create a little bit of restlessness at the same time. It is actually moving you in this new direction where there is there is some healing, um, but it might even eventually get you to the point of wanting to be alone, to have some time alone. Even though initially it's like you, what you would want is for this person to come in. Whatever the case, there's a lot that you're learning here about yourself. Let's see what's going on with them. So for the lovers, we have strength. Okay, that's you showing up here and the five of swords. Ooh, okay, yeah. 
So this person is definitely um, feeling the connection here with you. I feel like, you know, they're feeling this lover's connection with you, right? Um, because here's you showing up to their lover's card. But they also have the Five of Swords attached to that. So it does feel like they're deceiving their own wishes here or this, this connection in some way even being hard-headed about it, like very, um, very resistant to this. Let's see what else. Let's see this Queen of Swords. The Nine of Pentacles and the Tower. They're trying to, they're trying to keep their distance. Um, <clears throat> this could be somebody who, <clears throat> again, it feels like they might be tied up to something else. Um, it might not be the case for all of you, but for some of you, I feel like there's definitely another connection here that they're attached to and they know they have this clarity that in order to um, be able to be with you, they would need to be completely independent of that. There would need to be this huge tower that would happen to completely um, remove something from their lives, break something down completely in order to be independent of that. So there is this clarity because, like I said, you know, they do want this connection with you. And then for others of you, if there, if there is not another situation that they are involved with, this person is not going through a good time in either case, okay? Whether they are involved with in another um, connection or not, there's actually a lot that is coming up for them and I feel like their sense of their sense of self is actually going to be shaken up quite a bit and it could be that this person has been struggling with some self-worth issues possibly in the past um something is going something is coming up which is actually going to take them by surprise and help them to gain clarity over that Let's see the Two of Swords, the Hanged Man, and Judgment. Yeah, there's a decision here, and whatever this is that is coming up here with this Queen of Swords and this Tower, um, it's shaking them up a lot, and it's making them really have to face this judgment, something that they are realizing, either about this decision that they need to make or about themselves and what it is that they are worth, what it is that they deserve. Um, because if, if this is a person, let's say just for example, for some of you, you might be like, well, what the hell? You know, this person has treated me like shit, you know? <laughs> what do you mean their self-worth? You know, they're not seeing my self-worth, right? But most of the time when somebody is treating you like shit, it's because they feel like shit about their own self. And I'm not saying that you should take this person or that you should accept that behavior under any circumstances. I am not saying that at all. What I am saying is that this person, though, is having some major revelation about their own sense of self-worth. Okay? So, and again, this, this is not to say that this person was necessarily um, treating you badly this is just this was just an example this person is having a huge revelation about their their sense of self um, and that revelation is actually leading them to understand that there's a decision here a major one that needs to be made I don't see them acting on it just yet though okay with the hanged man being here I feel like they're more like reflecting on it they're reflecting on it, um, not taking that step quite yet. Well, let's see that Seven of Swords. The 
Five of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, and the Four of Swords. Yeah, there's a lot of healing that needs to happen here. It feels like this person um, just overall is like betraying what they truly what they truly want, right? They're betraying this lover's connection that they feel with you. But I actually feel like the Seven of Swords, this is why I wanted to clarify it first. See, there's this healing that is happening. There's this sense of loss that is coming up, a sense of loneliness. This is definitely them, by the way. Um, a sense of loneliness that they are feeling because they don't have what it is that they truly want. And so that is actually leading up to the healing. And what I see them doing here is it's the seven of swords. So again, it's like they're not coming in 100%, but look at this image. It's like they're almost like they're, you know, cracking open that door and taking a peek, sneaking a peek inside, like to see what it would be like to get a glimpse. So it's a, it's a tiny step, but it's a step nonetheless, right? Um, and I feel like this, the reason why it's moving in this way is because there is a lot that this person has to heal here. And they are moving in that direction. It's just taking a little bit of time. But I love that the final, final card that we had out clarifying is that Four of Swords. Right? So there is some peaceful energy coming in, peace of mind, um, almost in like, there's like this peace of mind and knowing that this nine of cups, right, that lovers is possible, even if they're not coming in 100%. I feel like they're kind of like sneaking back in, in this direction. Um, but... For you though, you know, expecting this to be over and expecting this ending, you know, if that's what you're feeling intuitively guided towards, which I do see here, then, you know, go with that. There's a reason for that as well. Go with that. You know, um, act as if, yeah, you know, that this is an ending. Because that, for whatever reason, that is what you are, um, how you are meant to take this. All right, so if this resonated, the final message for you, we have cycles. Everything has its right time. Honor the cycles of your body. Tune into the moon's magic. So yeah, everything has its right time. I feel like that message particularly um, relates here. So Leo, those are your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.